viewers good morning africa wherever you are we are looking at the rise of from the ashes of the judiciary of the republic of kenya for the last two years since the nullification of elections of 2017 the judiciary of the Republic of Kenya has been on the headlines and in every newspaper worldwide, nationally, regionally, and Africa at large. The nullification of that election brought what we call a dual system of courage of justice. That the presidential election held on 8th August 2017 was not conducted in accordance with the Constitution and the applicable law rendering the declared results invalid, null, and void. The justice that is demanded by civil society, international civil society, and the local civil societies, and the justice demanded by the interest of the nation. Given the two, which one do Kenyans want? Do they want the interest of the nation? In the interest of the nation, President Uhuru Mwingai Kenyatta decided to go back to campaign in order to show the world that he was able and he is able and he was the winner. The campaigns took place, an election was reconducted for the second time Uhuru emerged the winner of that election from then the judiciary has never been a judiciary for the people of Kenya it has been a, a judiciary commanded, supported equipped logistically by either local NGOs or international NGOs that tell them on what to do not to do and above all the situation of judicial officers themselves being activists we have seen a number of judges acting like activists on the streets making decisions that are not in the interest of the judiciary and not in the interest of the country at large the release of terrorists or alleged terrorists from courts using the law and then the terrorists return to kill many Kenyans is one of the factors that has caught our eye. In Africa School of Thought, we believe that Chief Justice Maraga and his entire team or Chief Justice Maraga, the Deputy Chief, Chief Justice, Madame Muiru have not done a service for this country. They have misused the powers conferred upon them by the Constitution of Republic of Kenya to either do politicking or accuse the executive of being politi political or being a witch hunter against the judiciary. Time and time again, President Uhuru Kenyatta has pumped in money in the judiciary to raise the standards of the employees of the judiciary to give the judges freedom and welfare that they are able to conduct their affairs without interference. Is it time now for the Kenyans to say we have had enough of a bad judiciary? Is it time now for us to fight and for Africa to rise up because we see a lot of shrinkage of constitutionalism being done by the judges. If you look at what the judges in Malawi did, they did it in the morning, they reversed it in the afternoon, they ate it during dinner. Is this what Kenyans want? I leave it to you, Kenyans. Our hopes lie on the judicial service, the new judicial service system that has been put there and hopefully hopefully and only hopefully 
that one day we shall rise from the ashes of corruption. Thank you.